Well, he's high and lifted up. He's been suffering on the cross for a few hours now. And if I can use my sanctified imagination, the Pharisees are pleased. The Sadducees are satisfied. The enemies of the cross are elated. Hell is happy. Demons are dancing. And Satan is shouting. Because Jesus is experiencing the crucifixion. And he's uttered several words from the cross. The first words that he uttered is to the crowd. Where he says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. The second word he utters to criminals, where he says, this day you will be with me in paradise. The third word he utters, he utters to a comrade, where he tells the beloved disciple John, woman, behold thy son, and son, behold thy mother. Uh, The fourth word that he utters is the word of concession, where he cries out, my God, my God. Why hast thou forsaken me? The fifth word he utters is the word of conquest, where he says, I thirst. But I I believe that this sixth word uh, is the greatest word that he uttered on the cross. uh, Because this sixth word is the word of completion. Uh, now, 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 he wasn't saying that he was completed. Because he, he, he didn't say, I am finished. Uh, but, but, but he said, it is finished. Uh, ma- 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 matter of fact, when they lifted him high, I, I believe he said, go ahead. Dry the nails in my hand. Go ahead, rivet my feet. Go ahead, pierce, pierce me in the side. But I'll rise again. Because this, 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 this is not a word of defeat. But this is a word of I win. Uh, It's not the word of a coward. But but it's the word of someone that is courageous. It's not the word of someone that has been a victim to crucifixion. But it's the word of a victor. And and, and this word, I I finish, is, is an important word because it is the word that symbolizes that everything that Jesus had come to do is now being completed. Uh, but but, 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 but what, what does he really mean when he says it is finished? What, what was he talking about uh, that was finished? Can, can, can I give you several? I, I, I believe that he first of all was saying that the scriptures about himself was being finished. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born. The the, the scriptures declared that he would be born of a virgin. That he would be born in Bethlehem and a descendant of David. That the scriptures declared that he would be despised and rejected by men. That the scriptures declared that he would be led to the slaughter. Uh, The scriptures declare that he will be wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace will be behind him. And and when he says it is finished, he was saying that the scriptures about myself was being fulfilled. Uh, This word, it is finished in the Greek is telelista. Uh, And it it, it literally means complete and finished. Uh, in the days of Jesus, this was a popular term. Whenever a great artist would finish the last stroke on the canvas of his painting, uh, he would take a step back and look at his work. And when it all came together and made sense, he would say, Telista, uh, it is finished. Well, I believe that when Jesus was hanging on the cross, uh, he, he took a step back and looked at himself. 
and all the scriptures came together and they started making sense. And he said, Telelista, it is finished. The, the, the scriptures have come together. But, but, but then not only, not only does he say that the scriptures have been fulfilled, but, but, but I believe he is saying that the final sacrifice for sin had been finished. Uh, uh, again, this, this word, telelista, uh, in Jesus' days was often used by the priests. When the priests would examine the lamb before sacrifice, the, the, the priest would have to ensure that the lamb was perfect and without spot and blemish. Uh, the priest would inspect uh, the lamb from head to toe. He, he would even inspect inside of the mouth of the lamb and inside of the ear of the lamb and even the eyelid of the lamb because the, the sacrifice had to be perfect. Come a little closer. When Jesus was hanging on that cross, he, he looked at himself and said, I, I'm the perfect sacrifice uh, uh, for man's sin. I, 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 I know we often say it should have been us on that cross. And I know what you mean when you say that, but the truth of the matter is that we weren't even fit to die. We was too dirty. We, we were too nasty. We were too sinful. But ah, oh, Jesus, the perfect sacrifice said it's finished. And what the blood of bulls and goats cannot do, but the blood of Jesus did. I come by to tell you today, if you come here today dirty, if you came here stained and spotted by sin, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins where sinners can plunge and lose all their guilty stain. Well, can I give y'all one more? And I'll take my seat. Not only... Did he say the scriptures was finished and the final sacrifice for sin was finished? But ah, uh, he said salvation is finished. Uh, uh, can I give you another word picture of this word, telelista? Uh, it was a word that the merchants would use in the days of Jesus. And whenever a business transaction was completed, uh, the merchant would stamp on the receipt of the transaction, telelista, meaning paid in full. Hey. <laughs> the Old Testament sacrifices couldn't do it. The prophets of old couldn't do it. But ah, Jesus... When he was hanging on that cross, that dark Friday, he said, Telelista, paid in full. Jesus paid it all. Hey, all to him all. Sin have left the custom stay. He's washed me. Did he wash anybody? He washed me. Why the snow? I don't know about y'all, but I feel all right now. Because I thank God that I'm saved. I'm not perfect, but I'm saved. Made mistakes, but I'm saved because he paid.